Hello everyone, I'm going to be playing some more 5Q games. If you are liking this video series so far, please make sure to comment down below what you like or what you want to see that's different from what I'm currently doing. Let's get into a game and uh, see how this one progresses. Start to play. Well, that didn't take too long. Let's see if he's going to stay. Okay. Got to play the first couple moves before we can say anything. Okay. So I generally don't like to play two four fours, so I'm going to play one off just because that's what I prefer. And we'll see if he is going to just be playing slow here. Okay, cool. So this, this approach here seems a bit small. Um, usually it's a bit better to approach a 3-4 point first before approaching a 4-4 four, four point. And... Hmm. Let's approach his, and we'll see if I can show you why I am okay with tanukiing here. Ah, kicking. That seems okay. Hmm, he's sliding now, which is not really that big of a deal either. So it seems like, uh, we're just going to have a, an interesting game. All right, let's get into this. So, as I said, it's usually better to like approach or enclose a 3-4 point. Since he didn't finish this area off here, we could attach and just get a little bit of strength like this. Or even play like this a uh, knight's move to get something. Or we can just play back and do our 3-space here. Now this uh, formation is a little bit awkward for black. So it could be good for me to just respond in the corner, which should give me a little bit of strength. But I think in general, you'd probably want to play on the side first. So I would say that this 4-4 four, four stone is the weaker stone. So let's take a little bit of a base on the side. If he takes this corner, then we'll come over to here, somewhere. We could also leave it again, because the shape is still flexible, and I could take this enclosure in the top left. Maybe I'll do that. Because if I block here, I'm pretty close to being alive. But I would prefer to not really be split on the side here. Hmm. No, I think it'll be fine. Let's uh let's enclose the upper left for fun. Because he didn't really finish this side. And these stones are very flexible. He played fairly bad moves in order to try to attack my 4-4 four, four stone. So let's just enclose over here. Let's see what he wants to do. Ah, he's playing very, very close here. That's a bit too close. So let's do this attachment that I mentioned before and see what he wants to do. Uh, I can play this to complete my shape and just extend out. Now I have a really nice shape here as white. Mm, I think I'm fine with just extending still. And there we go. He took his extension. A little two space. I could probably still leave it if I really wanted to. <laughs> But this could be a good time to try to make the group strong. You could play 
R16 here to get a base, which if you play S15, you're basically alive after that. You could attach here to get something, or you could just jump out. Since it feels like there's so many different options, you probably still don't even need to do anything here. Like you're not expecting any points here and black's not really going to get any points here. So I guess the question is what is black going to be able to do in order to profit from attacking this group? I don't really see it too much. So let's just approach in the bottom left or take the corner. I don't mind taking the corner. Either one's fine. I don't think it really matters. Black should try to get Sente here. You could double Hane to get the points, but I think uh, Sente is important. Ah. This is really good for me, I think because now I have this uh, nice enclosure with a strong group that's sort of extending it all. I think it's fine to just extend here right away to make use of the Aji, but I don't really need to like invade in this area too much. But I still think it's fine to just extend. Because now I can push here if I want to. But now that I have... Um, Really nice solid areas. Seems like I could go in and just protect my groups in the center here. If I protect my groups now, it's going to be hard for him to stop me from getting points other places. So let's protect. And see what he's going to do. Okay. Yomi now starts. Sitting down just makes so I can't make my two eyes on this side. And I probably can't attack this group, so I could attach here. But I think I will just jump out. There's a normal sort of shape here. Yeah, I think that should be fine. We could also take this move here as a little bit more of a base. Uh, he's really trying to get rid of the base even more, but this just helps me get shape in the center so I can just push. He can't let me Hane here. That'd be bad. I could probably push again. But I already have some decent shape here. Could be worth jumping again. Getting control of the center to try to turn this Nine, into territory later. Eight, seven, six, five, four, I think that's three. fine. That's also threatening to play something on the top. Okay, he doesn't want me to do that. Hmm. I guess I could just try to take it all here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sure. Let's uh, press him down. And just get some influence. Okay. Okay. So this is the stronger side for sure. So we definitely want to push him towards that side. Uh, that's definitely a bit of a mistake. So we can push here. And then turn. And he doesn't really have that much more eye space than he had before. 
And let's try to find a good move to attack him in the center. It seems a little bit difficult. If we play this one, he would jump out. And we push him towards the wall. It would have forced him Nine, to go this way eventually. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, but maybe it's better two, to attack seven. with the knight's move here. So I'm not running him towards this group. I think this should be fine. It looks like black has a lot of points here, but let's actually count it and see. Uh, anyway, let's count it and see. It's like maybe 40 to 50 points. Nine. That's all we need as white. And it's much easier to get that as white, so I'm fine with that. Uh, we have at least around 10 points in the corner. Probably a couple points with each of these groups. So here we definitely need to double Hane. We can't just let him come out as easily. And we should have all the ladders. And just continue to surround him here. Uh... I guess we can't really cut that, but that's fine. We can just haunt it again. And just, uh, just turn. We just have all these Ataris, but they don't seem to do anything. So let's turn here and make some points and just extend out. So is he alive? Fayatari here, and Hane here. He has one eye. Then he turns, and he probably has a second. So can I get profit from that by attaching here? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I can probably at least uh, do this Atari. If he honeys here, he should be alive with a few extra points. So I can probably hone here at least. And he'll have to make the other eye here. And I get a couple points here. This is like a getting some Sente in game exchanges, basically. There we go. I could push here as well. But I don't think it's necessary. I don't think there's anything he can do in particular. So what we'd probably want to try to do now is push this group Eight, down somehow. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, so we can try to just one. attach. That usually will work well enough. Hmm. I'm not going to be too worried about this group, so I'm fine with just extending or jumping here to threaten to go through. I think extending is fine. And then I can pull it back and get a large middle area here. Or I can keep going. But there's not really a pushing cut or anything. However, I can also make influence on this side, so it's... You, know, you can kind of do whatever you want here. It might be fun to just Keep making influence on both sides. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. But I think uh, this is the simpler way to connect up. And we can just jump out if we want to try to turn this into points. There is a little bit of Aji here for him. But it's not really something he has to worry too much Nine, about. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. So I think I'm going to push here and see if he wants to let me use any Haji here. Oh, he's going to cut. Okay. Just stay strong. And this isn't Sinte. So I don't mind Haneing here to use my Aji. And Hane again to use my Aji. There we go. So now I have this strength here. And I have this little bit of influence here. This is going to help me on the bottom side. So I think it's uh, fine to try to fight this now. Nine. So I can extend here since so this is my weakness. Uh, connect, of course. And uh, he's not making any eye shape. But this is still a weak spot for me, so I'll just continue to extend. Okay, he's still not trying to do the right thing. Um, I can definitely Hane here now, but hmm, what's the right choice? Let's see. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. That's just Hane. Mm, double Hane. See what he wants. And just surround him. There is nothing here. Because uh, this just doesn't work. That's an Atari. That's just a reading thing there. That's normal. All right, so he made his shape, which is good. I think uh, just poking at the shape would be fine. But we need to look at uh, what type of, I guess, what type of profit we want to try to Nine, seek out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. maybe we can try to make something on the bottom side. Yoyomi now starts. Yeah, I mean... I figured he would cut, but this is going to let us try to make a couple points on the bottom. And this should be fine. Uh, there is this weakness in his shape here, so I think I do want to turn, which would also help us in our connection. And we can just let him live here, which is perfectly acceptable. And we just uh, turn on the bottom here to get our points. That's a bit of an overplay. So I think we can just connect, though. Like it'd be it'd be fine to try to fight this by pushing. But if we just connect and he goes down, then we attack severely. Six, five. And if he tries to jump back, it'll be a little easier to deal with. Uh, ah. So he wants to fight. Okay. So let's just uh, move towards our other group surrounding that one and connecting these ones up. I guess he thinks maybe I would have too many points. We can check what the Nine, score estimate is saying. Eight, seven, six, the score estimate is saying I'm ahead by 20 points. So, yeah, he just needed to invade. Just stay connected. Should be fine. Hmm. We could try to be very severe, but I think just the Hane here 
he can make his shape. And then we just cut him off. These points over here, you're not going to really take too many of them away. Uh, so he cut me there. So we can just connect up. And we still have our points on the bottom. But we get to cut off this group in the center still. So. Ah, he resigned. Wow, okay, cool. That was simple. So this is kind of an interesting game. I, I'm not sure how well I talked in this one, but uh, <laughs> it was sort of uh, sort of interesting. I want to do a little bit of review and talk about how he could have maybe handled a couple things better. So he did try to attack, but he did something in a slightly awkward way, right? So I jumped out here, and he's already undercut the base on this side, right? So he ended up playing another move that was already sort of being used on the board already. Like it's already uh, a sort of useless move because my group was already undercut. I'm going towards the center. I'm not going towards this little tiny side area, which allows me to, at the very least, get a shape like this. Yes, uh, the black group is stronger, but it's not too big of a deal. So what he should have played, if he's going to play on the side again, there is this attachment that I can play, and there is this little bit of base that I can get. So when I jump out, he can just play this move. It does the same thing, but gives less forcing moves for me. And the forcing moves against this, this stone would make the black group very, very strong. So if I want to take something in the center here, just this exchange, giving it this uh, tiger's mouth, makes it much easier to try to attack this bottom group. So he just jumps out into the center. I jump out in the center and make my group uh, stronger. And then he can try to do some sort of attack on this side or attack from this direction to build the bottom side. Because now his strength here is allowing him to fight more strongly on this side. If I just have to do stuff like this in order to make two eyes, then this is really good for black. But instead, he played a move that does the same thing as a move he had already played, which is something you want to think about when you're deciding on your move here. Like, it makes sense what he was trying to do, but he should have played at least a little bit differently, one higher and over because he's already accomplishing this particular goal. This is almost like an attachment to my group in this case. And yeah, pushing so many times here is a little bit questionable. Only really need to push one time. And then if he invades and I push him this direction, he does have sort of moves over here that are threatening to come down to surround this group in some way or to connect up in some way as well. So it's much more difficult for me to kill the stone. But exchanging all of these moves on the top makes me very, very thick, which uh, you definitely don't want to do. <laughs> and again, Black played this slide on the second line. I think this is okay when you're trying to live, but it's sort of a last resort idea. I didn't really need to push here. I just wanted to. But you see that 
after I get this move here, the center on all sides are starting to become more interesting. Looks like I have a lot of potential to do something, right? So it's often bad to do this sliding move right away. Better to jump out or to do some sort of attachment on top like this. If I try to be very severe, then it gets a little bit difficult because you can either come underneath here and get some eye shape, or you have a lot of forcing moves towards the center to capture this stone. So if I back off here, you can, uh, I'm not gonna do anything too, too complicated, but just, just jumping back here, if I try to force you to run away, then when you're running away, you're threatening this stone to be captured, right? And if I don't capture it directly, you still have moves like this, which is threatening to surround and capture the stone. So it's a good way to get a little bit of uh, strength. And then if I just back off, you're out into the center and you're a little bit more strong. If I prevent the Hane, you have this attachment here to make an eye, but you also get to jump out. And what you're doing as well with this attachment is you're running away from this wall. So if you, for example, if you, if you are jumping out like this, you're a little bit closer to the wall. So it feels like, feels a little bit harder to uh, make eyes this way because you're closer to the strength. But when you attach here, and you jump out, you're at least one line further away, which gives you just this little bit of extra space. And you're always, when you're running away and trying to save a group, you always want to run away from the wall. Now making a base is a little bit different. This is trying to use the side to make eyes. But in general, you want to try to run away from the wall if you can. So if you like me doing this little bit of a review, sort of saying how the 5Q should have played certain situations, or like the, the mistake that I think was the most important one that they made, like this move on the side, and this one on the side instead of coming out towards the center, then uh, let me know. I'll definitely try to keep doing that in each video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you have a, a good day. Now have fun.